Hello, my name is Yovanka Lopez, and I am a senior at Crystal Ray New York High School. Thank you for being here tonight to celebrate the magic of Crystal Ray. First off, it's pretty awesome to be on this stage tonight. I'm lucky to have alumni like Kay who have paved the way for Crystal Ray students like me, showing me that with a lot of hard work and determination that I too could be a college graduate. It's pretty surreal to think that my time at Crystal Ray is shortly coming to an end. It seems like just yesterday that my eighth grade guidance counselor was recommending that I apply to Crystal Ray. I went to middle school on the west side at De La Salle Academy. It's pretty similar to Crystal Ray in that it's meant to give low-income students a first-rate education. So coming to Crystal Ray seemed like the logical next step. That was until I got a letter in the mail telling me to show up for three weeks of high school during the summer before my freshman year. Here I was thinking I was about to start summer vacation. Nope. I thought to myself, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Those three weeks of business boot camp were just the beginning of what has been an incredible four years. During business boot camp, I learned about mail merge, how to use the copier, and most importantly, how to navigate the crazy New York City subway system. I actually left business boot camp excited for school to start again, so that I could put everything I learned to the test and put it to the test I did. Starting the first week of my freshman year, I went to work one day a week, just like every other Crystal Ray student. That's the really unique thing about Crystal Ray. Through my job at Macmillan Publishers, I'm literally earning my education. Each week, my supervisors welcome me into their office and give me a big stack of work. I am not just another intern for them. They treat me like a real employee. But that also means they expect a lot from me. Throughout my four years at McMillan, I realized that a successful job is not that far off. If I could hold my own at age 14 in the publishing industry, I know there is a bright future out there for me as long as I do what I've done the past four years. Put in the hard work. It is not just in the workplace that I have realized who I can become. That's also happened within the walls of 106th Street. I'm sure a lot of you in this room remember how tough junior year was. It's your last real shot to show colleges what you can do. So I enrolled in two AP classes and an honors class. But just a few weeks into junior year, things weren't going so well. <laughs> I felt like I was drowning in chemistry. Algebra 2 was going over my head, and I was failing AP Spanish. I grew up speaking Spanish. <laughs> my parents speak Spanish. Everyone in my neighborhood speaks Spanish. Crecí hablando español. Mis padres hablan español. Todo mi barrio habla español. So here, I was thinking, what's wrong with me? I went to my teacher one day and asked to meet after school. And slowly, but surely, in those after school sessions, I raised my grade. At Crystal Ray, I did not learn to be complacent. Instead, I learned to question and not be afraid to ask for help. Every Crystal Ray student receives a planner that has a quote on the first page that says, the opportunity to partake in an education with the potential to transform your life is Crystal Ray's gift to you. What you make of this opportunity is your gift to Crystal Ray. I think this really captures what Crystal Ray is all about. Crystal Ray will provide you with the resources you need to succeed. The school will show you that you are capable and just as smart as anyone else out there. And it will make you keep on trudging just when you're about to give up. Crystal Ray did not give me my talents, but it has helped me realize the potential within me all along. Crystal Ray makes sure that each student that enters its doors 
leaves knowing they are up for the next challenge. They did it for me and for Kay, and I know it will continue to do it for those that follow. When I didn't get that pre-calc problem, when I didn't understand AP US history, or when as a freshman I had zero idea how to get down to Flatiron for my corporate work study job, that was okay because the teachers and staff at Crystal Ray showed me how and convinced me that I could. My parents came to this country to give me and my three older sisters, who are here tonight, <laughs> opportunities. Opportunities to be more and do more. Opportunities that they did not have in Ecuador. And they saw education as our tickets to a better life. And I am so thankful that I have been given that ticket with my Crystal Ray education. So here I am. It's the second half of my senior year. And I know that this time next year, I'll be halfway through my freshman year of college. I'm not sure where yet, but I've applied to Trinity, Hamilton, Hobart, and a bunch of other schools. And I am counting down the days until acceptance letters go out this spring. Though the thought of leaving my home at 106th Street is daunting, I know that wherever I go and whatever I do, I'll keep on pushing myself to be the best version of myself, just like Crystal Ray pushed me. Thank you.